Did you know this about judges? Now I'm gonna reveal a lot of stuff that you can't just dismiss as coincidence. So pay attention. First, let's look at the word magistrate because we know so-called judges are now today sometimes called magistrates. A civil officer in charge of administering laws. Also an office or function of a magistrate. You notice how it says C master? We're gonna get into that later. From the late 17th century, it often meaning justice of the peace or other minor officials have a criminal jurisdiction. But let's look at the root word of magistrate, magi. So magi is defined as skilled magicians or astrologers. From the old Persian magush, meaning magician, see magic. So now since we talk about magicians, we know what magicians wears, right? Black robes, sort of like you saw in Harry Potter, correct? That's why these so-called judges all have black robes. But let's look up the word magic. And when you look at the etymology of magic, you're going to come across words like sorcery. From Magos, one of the members of the learned and priestly class. Spoiler alert, some of your high-ranking officers in the Masonic lodges are oftentimes judges, which are quote-unquote members of the learned class or the high priests. So look at the root word of M-A-G-H, to be able or have power, which is jurisdiction. Are y'all starting to see this yet? And have you ever heard the saying that Latin is a dead language? You want to know why they say that? Well, it's a language used for the high priest and the learned class, which is why judges use it in court. That's why all the spells used in Harry Potter were from the Latin language. That's also why your legal maxims are all in Latin languages. Look at that. This is all Latin. And when they want you to come to court, what do they do? They summon you or issue a summons. You know, sort of like when somebody summons something, and that's why in court you have to make an appearance, whether it be general or a special appearance. Are you starting to see it yet? Now let's go back to magistrate. You see a civil officer in charge of administrating laws? That means we're dealing with administrative law and not judicial courts. So let's go to another thing. Title 28, dealing with judiciary and judicial procedure, administrative. 28 USC section 454 is the practice of law by justices and judges. It says, any justice or judge appointed under the authority of the United States who engages in the practice of law is guilty of a high misdemeanor. And they do this all the time when they put pleas in for the people. And let's look at the word master. On the definition of master, you're going to see right here, one having authority, one who rules, applied to several judicial officers. And since they're dealing with summoning and summoning things, they can only summon dead entities, which is your straw man slash fictitious entity corporation corpse and they're using all this trickery to get you to consent to being that dead entity and that's how judges work peace